Five less than four, the second method. So really there's three methods. There's solving by graphing on your calculator, solving by substitution, solving by elimination. Okay, elimination is the third one. Um, again, it has a step for you. If necessary, multiply each equation by a constant to obtain the same or opposite sign for the x and y's. That will make sense in a second. Add or subtract the equation to eliminate one of the variables. That's going to be the mind trip part. You'll be like, can you really do that? Yes, you can. That's why I like elimination. Three, solve the resulting equation. And four, substitute the solution to figure out the, uh, the other variable. So step four is the same in elimination was substitution. Once you get one number, you plug in to get the other. That's always how you get the other, OK? Here it is. Consider the system of equations. 2x plus 7y equals 13. 3x minus 7y equals 2. Add the two equations. That's weird. Add the two equations? Yeah, that's what it means. You're going to put a plus sign right here. You want to add them. Yeah. Exactly. Add it straight down. 2 plus 3. Eliminate. Whoa. 5x equals 15. Okay, x is 3. Okay, now they gave you a baby step one, so let's not let's not be uh, sold yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we got that. So we solved. X is 3. No problem. Verify. Well, we gotta figure out y real quick. To figure out y, you just plug into either one. Doesn't matter which one. So I'll go uh, 2 times 3 plus 7y equals 13. Okay, 6 plus 7y equals 13. Y is 7, or 1, I mean. Okay, questions there? So we, we plugged it back in and we just solved for y. Okay, verify solution satisfies both equations. Let's make sure this is right. So we go 2 times 3 plus 7 times 1 equals 13. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 7. 13 equals 13. That one's verified. All they did there was I just took my answers. If, you're, if I'm losing you, I'm sorry. This guy and this guy. We're plugged in for x and y. Do it again for the second one. 3 times 2, oh no, 3, excuse me. 3 times 3 minus 7 times 1 equals 2. 9 minus 7, 2 equals 2. Verified again. So we verified both equations. So that's just your baby step of seeing elimination. Now there's it's not that hard after that, but it does get a little bit easier. It does look a little easier, I mean. This one, consider the system of equations. Instead of adding, we're going to subtract. Now, what you need to pick up from this is you can add or subtract. It's up to you. Okay? But we want to do what will make things cancel. The last one, one was positive, one was negative. So you add a positive and a negative together, they cancel. This one, they're the same exact. So we want a minus. Because then 2x minus 2x eliminate. 6 minus 3 is 3y. 6 minus 4.5 is 1.5. Questions or concerns with that? So we subtract it. I will tell you, I typically always add. So I try to make the other one the opposite. And you'll see what I mean a little bit. I don't like the subtraction as much because then you run into minus to minus things can get a little bit messier. So when I'm doing my elimination, I typically always add. Okay, but you can do whatever's comfortable for you. Like this right here is ready to eliminate. You can just do it now. It's not a big deal. Divide 3, divide 3. 1.5 over 3, I hope you recognize, is 1 half. So y is 1 half. Okay, I'll put it in the I'll put it in this one here and I'll solve. 2x plus 6 times 1 half equals 6. 2x, half of 6 is 3. And divide by 2.
So there's your solutions. Questions, concern of that? Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and verify here. This part's kind of the easy part, like I said. We'll get to the little more challenging piece in a second. So I'll try the first one. So two times three over two plus six times one half equals six. Two times three halves, those cancel, that's just a three. Half of six is three. Three plus three is six. Verify. Okay, that's a little redundant, so I won't do the second one. You're welcome to try it if you'd like. Let's move onward, though. Okay, so now let's look at this one. Now you can see what the problem is. What's the problem? What's that? Correct. So what Caleb says is, like, I can add or subtract that right now, and nothing cancels. Okay? So this is where you have to manipulate things a bit to help you. Right, so to me, like I told you, I like to add mine. So when you add them, you want them to be what? Opposite. What's already kind of almost opposite? Well, the x's are both positives. The y is a positive and a negative. That's opposite, right? You see what I'm asking now? Yeah. So I'm wanting you to see this is a plus and a minus. So we want this to be a 3. So make it a 3. Times everything by 3. This is where elimination, you have to just kind of stay organized. That's what it's telling you there for, for part B. So part, for part A, no, it doesn't eliminate. Multiply the second equation by 3. So look, 2x plus 3y equals 4. 12x minus 3y equals 66. And now we're going to add those. Now we're ready to eliminate. Eliminate. 14x, 70. X is 5. Okay, so let's figure out what y is. So I'll plug in the x is 5 into right there. So 4 times 5 minus y equals 22. 20 minus y equals 22. Minus 20 minus 20. Negative y equals 2. So y equals a negative 2. I go through the solving stuff a little fast. I apologize, but I think it's kind of straightforward. I'll wait for a second. You. We'll go ahead and verify. I'll just verify to the first equation, not the second one. So I'm going to go 2 times 5. So I'm plugging the 5 in for x here. Um, plus 3 times negative 2. Taking the y here, putting it right here. Equals 4. So 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. Okay. So we just verified that. The last thing we're going to do real quick, there's kind of making sure you understand that there's not a one way to do this. It says, what can we multiply the first equation to make it cancel with the second one? 2. OK? If we multiply it by a 2, they're both going to be 4x. And therefore, you would do what with the equations? Minus them, OK? So if you're lost, what we're saying is we're going to take this one, we're going to hit everything with a 2 to make this 4x so that you have two 4x's. So after I multiply the top, it's going to be 4x plus 6y equals 8. And I have 4x minus y equals 22. You guys see that? So I took this guy, the original again, and I changed that one. We'll just minus them. Gone. Now this is where it gets tricky with minus. That's why I prefer plus. 6y minus a negative y. Add it. So it's 7y. 6y minus a negative y. So that means plus. 8 minus 22, negative 14. You'll see, whoops, that we get y is negative 2 again. Okay, so 
How's that negative there? All right, that's elimination. Okay, let's do a couple more examples of that and we'll be done. Any questions? All right. Okay, got this one, there's a couple on the next page. So this is some equations, 5a plus 3b equals 3, 3a minus 7b equals 81. Now the problem with this one that's different with the other ones, this is the hardest type. What's the problem with this one? Stay with me, I know we're getting tired, it's Monday. Stay with me, a lot of, days, a lot of your days are off. Exactly, none of the numbers going to each other. Do you want to add to that, Maddie, or is that what you're going to say? Yeah, so 5 doesn't go into 3, and 3 doesn't go into 7. What do you do with fractions when this happens? Yeah, common denominator is the right idea, Maddie, and you would do what? So like if you had one third plus one half, two and three don't go into each other, so then you would multiply them by each other. Exactly. Okay? So Noah, just pick. What do you want to go for? A or B? B. B. I'd probably go for B too because plus or minus. I like that better. So I'm going to multiply. See how that's a seven? I'm going to multiply this whole thing by seven. This whole thing by three. Okay, now look what that does for me. Choose appropriate whole numbers, multiply each equation, solve one. So it's 7 and 3. Okay, so we're doing 35a, 7 times 5, plus 21b equals 21. This is the first one. 9a minus 21b equals 243. And we're going to add these. Eliminate. That's the goal. 35 plus 9 is 44. 21 plus 243 is 264. Let's see, what is that? Is that 6? Okay. Thank you. So 6 is A. Plug back in to figure out B. Um, let's see here, 3 times 6, I'm putting it into this one here, minus 7b equals 81, 18 minus 7b equals 81, minus 18, um, that's 63, b is negative 9. So A is 6, B is negative 9. That's the solution. Okay, so what would you multiply by if you're trying to eliminate the A's? Three and five. Yeah, right, because five and three. Okay. So go ahead and try that. I'll pause the video. I want you guys to try that really quickly. Multiply that by 3 and 5. Remember, you're going to get the same answer we just got. Okay, so you already know what you're expecting. I'll be around. Okay, so you should have the same answer. I'll just get it started, but again, I'm not, I'll, I won't work all the way through it. So you should have times the first guy by 3, the second guy by 5. Now, if you want to continue to add, you just have to do 1 by a negative, right? So what I'm saying is if you want to add still and you want to subtract, you know it's 5 and 3, just do 1 negative. That way it'll get you a negative 15, okay? But I won't do that for now. So the top one for times by 3, you should have got 15a plus 9b equals 9. The bottom one by 5, 15a uh, minus 35b, uh, 5 times 81, 405. Okay, and you're subtracted. That's what's eliminated. Minus a minus right here, so that's going to be 44b. 9 minus that would have been 396. Negative. And you would have divided that, and you would have got 9. Okay, negative 9. All right, so on to these two, and then we're done. 
Okay, so it says solve the following system using elimination. 4x plus 2y minus 13, and 3x equals 5y plus 26. So what have they done here to confuse you? Say that again, Matty. Uh, not put underneath each other, yeah. First thing is not underneath, underneath each other. Something else. What else have they done to confuse you here? Yeah, they don't have, like, before we had the x and y's on one side, the number on one side, and they've mixed that up on you. Okay? In general, haha, in general, we want to be in general form. Okay? But the c can be on either side. So what I'm pretty much saying is put your x and y's together at least. Okay? So what I would do here is, personally, I would probably move this 13 and I'd minus this 5y. Okay, so that gives me 4x plus 2y equals 13. Three x minus five y equals twenty-six. Now, Caleb, what do you want to go for? The x's or the y's? Okay, the y's. Okay, and then what are you going to multiply the top equation by then? Right, we'll go just by five because they're already negative. Just by two. Okay. So then that gives me, I'm kind of working backwards here in terms of my writing, that gives me 20x plus 10y equals 20, oh, 5 times 13, 65. People often forget to hit the number. Remember, you hit everything with 5. Um, 2 times 3 is 6x minus 10y equals 52. Okay, I'm going to add these because they're opposite. 20 plus 6 is 26x. Eliminate. 65 plus 52 is 117. Is that right? Yeah. Divide 66. Divide 66. I think that's the answer. Let me make sure here because that looks kind of ugly. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> Can't read all handwriting. It's a sin and a curse. There we go. Okay. Does that help us though? What's 117 divided by 26? 12.5? 9 over 2? Okay. Okay, so that's what your x is. Now to figure out y, plug it in. Um, I'm going to plug it into uh, this one here. So 4 times 9 over 2 plus 2y minus 13 equals 0. 4 times 9 is 36. Divided by 2 is 18. 18 minus 13 is 5. Minus 5. Divide 2. Okay, just said solve, so we have to verify on that one. Oh boy, so this one's crazy town. Tons of fractions everywhere, but the fractions are the problem, right? The fractions are the problem. So all they're going to do is, is we're going to get rid of the fractions. So 3 and 5 both go into... So yeah, so we're going to times everything by 15. Okay? That's what you have to do. What's 15 divided by 3? 5. So now it's 5 times x minus 2. No more fraction. That was the purpose. 15 divided by 5. 3 times y plus 2 equals 30. We no longer have fractions there. Okay, I'll go ahead and simplify. 5x minus 10. Okay. So 
add the 16 over. So my, my one of them is going to be this. So that's equation one. That's what it looks like. 5x minus 2y equals 46 after I'm done simplifying. Okay, what do you want to multiply this one by? It's not 5, 10, right? Because we want to get rid of the 2 as well. So 10, 10, 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 3 is 6. 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 4 is 8. 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 21 is 105. Six X plus six just distributed. Negative eight times Y is negative eight Y. Negative eight times negative three is positive twenty-four. Okay, we'll pause it here. We're just gonna get these set up. Okay, we'll pause it here. We'll probably finish it tomorrow. Okay, so we have six X minus eight Y. No problem. I have a 6 and a 24, which is 30. So I'm going to minus 30 to the other side, which is 75. So these are my two equations. Okay, we'll finish that tomorrow for our warm-up or something. All right. All right, so 